There's no limit to the number of spaces you can create in Confluence. When you create a space, you're automatically granted Space Admin permissions for it, which means you can then grant permissions to other users and groups. You can add content to your space by using pages and keeping them organized in a hierarchy. You will learn about creating pages later in this segment. Let's begin by creating a blank space. To create a blank space, ensure that you are logged into your Confluence site. Then, in the home screen, click the Create Space icon. The Create Space dialog box will be displayed with various options for you to select. Click Blank Space and then click Next to initiate creating a blank space in your Confluence site. Next, in the Create a Blank Space dialog box, type a space name and space key. Space key is a short, unique identifier that forms part of the URL for that space. You should provide a space key that is relevant to the space and easy to remember. For example, marketing, sales, travel, or research notes. Depending on the space name provided by you, Confluence 2 suggests a space key. However, you can change the suggested key with your own if required. Choose your space key carefully as you cannot change the space key after you create your space. Now, from the Space Permissions drop-down, select an appropriate permission. You can also copy permissions from a similar space to your new space. Finally, click Create to create the space with the provided settings. Next, let's look at the steps to create a personal space. Your personal space is always owned by you, and you can use it to store your individual work, keep track of tasks, blog about what you've been working on, or just use it to polish your pages before you move them into another space. To create a personal space, visit your Confluence Cloud homepage by clicking Home, located on the top navigation bar. Then, in the Home screen, click the Create Space icon. Like before, the Create Space dialog box will be displayed with various options for you to select. Click Personal Space and then click Next. In the Create a Personal Space dialog box, type the space name relevant to your personal space and click Create to create the personal space. Now let's review the steps to create a space using a template. Confluence comes with a number of templates, known as Space Blueprints, which have a customized overview and sidebar and may contain page blueprints or sample content to help you get started. The templates available in Confluence are Knowledge Base. Use this template to share knowledge and best practices internally with your team or organization. Use with your help desk solution to address common requests. Documentation Space. Use this template to create, manage, and collaborate on technical documentation. Software Project Space. Use this template to plan and organize your software project and see live content from Jira. See important project pages in one place to keep your team on track. Click Home located on the top navigation bar to open your Confluence Cloud homepage. Then in the home screen, click the Create Space icon to view the various available templates. Select the required template and then click Next. For this demonstration, let's use the Knowledge Base template. In the Create a Knowledge Base dialog box, type an appropriate space name, space key, and description relevant to your space. Next, from the Space Permissions drop-down, select an appropriate permission and click Create to create the space. Finally, let's see the steps to create a team or project space. You can create a team or project space to share knowledge and collaborate on projects, processes, and procedures with your team. The team members will be notified about this space and all updates. They will be granted appropriate permissions and added as watchers of the space. To create a team or project space, from the home screen, click the Create Space icon. Now, in the Create Space dialog box, select Team Space and click Next. The Create Team Space dialog box will be displayed. Next, provide an appropriate space name, space key for the space. 
For this demo, let's name the space as Software Project Home. Type the space key as SW Project. Notice here that the space name and space key fields are each marked with a red asterisk. This indicates that these are mandatory fields and you must populate them to create the space. A team space requires a team to be added. Select and add your team members that are part of the project to your space. To do this, in the Team Members field, type the names of your team members that you want to add. As you type, Confluence will show a list of names matching the input text. Select the name that you want to add to the field. For this demo, we will add Alana to our team space and add a brief description. If you need to remove a name added to the field, click the X icon shown next to the person's name. Now, from the Space Permissions drop-down, select an appropriate permission for your space and click Create. That brings us to the end of this video on creating a space. In this video, you learned how to create a blank space, create a personal space, create a space using a template, create a team or project space.